Welcome to Gardening at 58 North. I thought I'd better do a quick update on my Dendrobium Orchid here, just to show you what's happened. So all, so I've had it, I think it was since October. It's been a long plan period, it's done really well. And basically when I bought it, from right down here, all the way up to the top here, it was completely covered in white flowers and it looked really good. And I got it from Ikea really cheap, so I wasn't sure how long it would last. I thought, I looked online, it said maybe last for about a month. But it's now January, so that's a good four months later, and we've still got flowers on it. Most of them have dropped off now. <laughs> Once they started to, to die off, they really started dying off quickly. You can see this is the last ones that are actually looking nice. Get that to focus for you. Yeah, last one's looking nice, and then these ones, this is what happens when they die, they just kind of go yellow, and they just, just fall off like that, break off very easily. So, it's, finished, it's just about to finish flowering, but the good news is it's sending up a new stalk here which will be covered in flowers next year. That's it there, it's grown quite a lot. I think when I first got it, it was about, about this tall. So you can see it's grown quite a lot. So what I'm going to do now is start giving it a balanced feed just to encourage this to grow. It's going to be balanced so it has good leaf growth and um, good stem growth and root growth. And then when it starts to reach the height of this one, I'll then switch to a high potassium feed like Tomorite. And that will encourage it to flower and have a good display. Now, it's interesting this one because it started off quite thin, but just recently it started to thicken up and it's getting quite fat now. And eventually it will look as fat as this stem here. And this stem um, has, uh, th with these dendrobium orchids, they have these pseudo bulbs. You can see a few back here when they've been cut shorter. And this one is just one giant long fat one. So it's a big fat swollen stem basically. And it stores a lot of energy and water for the plant. Which I'm guessing it uses for flowering and then seed production. So as this grows it will also fatten up and get thick and fat. Once that's fully fattened up, all the little side shoots will cut, start coming out by between just the opposite side of the leaf. So there's a leaf here. The side shoot will come out on this side. You can see it here. You've got the leaf and just opposite on the same on the same level if you follow that line there you've got a suit so in this you follow follow the line round you should get a shoot there so it'll be a while until that starts to flower i'll give you guys an update if it does but at the moment it's doing really well the new leaves are actually bigger than the old leaves you can see there they're also a lot shinier and glossy, so they're looking nice. They'll probably darken a little bit because they're quite light at the moment because the, it's the middle of winter and there's not much light. As you can see today, it's a very grey day. It's torrential rain at the moment. Let's just show you that puddle. So it's, it's pretty miserable weather. So this plant, even though it hasn't had a lot of light, it's still growing quite well. So hopefully as, as summer comes in the next four or five months, this will really start putting on a lot of growth and they'll be nice and tall. I'll probably have to stake this one as well because if you look at the old stem you can see how thin it is. It's very thin but it's got it's supporting a very tall fat stem so it's actually staked at the moment with bamboo cane. So I'll have to do the same with this at some point but for now it's really holding its weight quite well. It's quite a sturdy little shoot and that's going to keep growing. So I'll give you guys an update when that starts to flower or when it starts to top out. But that's my dendrobium for now, and as I say, this will have to grow f to the full height of the other one before it flowers. So I'm thinking it'll probably be September, probably about a year from when I first got this one.